Hey, Bex here with Steve from Trick Out Cycles. I'm getting ready to uh, do one of the next steps and install the batteries into the bike. I have the bodywork mocked up and all the suspension and everything is set. So I just really try to get the overall dimensions of the four batteries, the overall diameter and the width height, everything that they're gonna be. Seeing what the best configuration is to drop it in there for the controller and some other components that still need to go on the bike. So. As you can see, looking down into the bike, it's pretty much an empty shell. Yeah, that's basically what a bike looks like uh, with the bodywork on it and no motor. This is what it would be here. So we have the uh, controller just hanging from the radiator cross member. Now, I just dropped a piece of angle iron down here just to get some general measurements and see how it's going to lay using the cross member uh, of the lower frame. Uh, from that, I'm going to form a battery tray and then just come down and get my supports off the factory engine mounts and that'll get everything uh, stable in here. And then I'll box it in and make it tight. So I'm just gonna make a rough support for it. And then I'll box it in, configure it all in and get it so you'll be able to remove the battery, service it, whatever needs to be done. So next step is just taking some rough measurements, which I have. I'm gonna drop the batteries in. I'm gonna make a quick mock-up of battery tray and that should do it for today. So that's gonna, that'll be a lot of progress. I'm gonna try to get this done within the next hour and uh, then we'll move to the next step. So let's get it started. Just trying to make fitment uh, the batteries inside the uh, tank shell I made and this wouldn't really be necessary on a Busa but because this bike has the custom subframe from a bike that I had sitting around since 2004 I decided to use it which you know gives me more a little bit more work to do so just getting some clearance for the batteries and then I'm gonna get them all settled down I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the way I'm gonna keep them in there um, Although I may invert this one. It's all about trying and see which way is really gonna fit better and keep them really stable once they're in there. Let me try inverting this battery. I can definitely still go forward more too. A lot of room to play with. I mean, that looks good right there, I think. Let's just see what this is. Lots of room still on the tank. I mean, I, for the charger unit and some other electronics, still have plenty, plenty of room under here, um, which is great, even on the sides. Uh, I mean, it's going to be great to help keep the air cool. And it's kind of the ram air ducts are going to actually force air onto the batteries, keep them temperature, the control is up front. It's gonna act like the radiator, that'll help keep that in temperature correct. So uh, this is working out real good. Just a uh, couple more positioning of these tanks and I'll lock these batteries down once and for all, once I see which way the tank lays down the best. I think I'm trying to make them stable right there. I like that. And then, then play with the tank because it looks like I'm going pretty good up and down here. Splunging this back out of my way. So that's what we're gonna ride. Okay.
Okay, I got the uh, batteries configured exactly where I'm gonna mount them up. I need to get some hardware to weld up some mounting brackets. Uh, I'm utilizing the existing front engine mount to support the batteries and then I'm gonna lead off of that with some cage work. So now that the tank goes on and off, my little shell of a tank, I am going to shape this a little better, adhere the tank to this. I'm also gonna heat warp this down and get this to follow the body lines of the frame, subframe a lot smoother. And then we'll uh, probably be ready for painting this in. Gonna fill in the gas cap or I might do a custom light up section there. Or I may do a charging there. I'm not, not really sure yet. I have a couple options that I'm gonna work through and figure out and get that, uh, you know, one of the last steps, so I'm gonna get that done. Um, so the sides are black. We're gonna do a quick shoot on the tail section. Quick shoot in the tank. Uh, we're mocking up the front fender, making some fender mounts. Uh, I think we found a Kawasaki Z1000 front fender that we would like the shape of. It was sitting in the back. We're, we're running with it. Um, so yeah, it's really coming along good. Made a lot of progress today. Uh, there's not too much more um, rough fabrication to do. We're gonna make a wiring harness for the uh, lighting system. I'm not using any of the existing wiring harness from the Hayabusa except from the switch housing to operate the horn, uh, headlights and turn signals, but uh, I'm just gonna go straight out for the plug, um, run my own wiring harness for turn signals, couple flashers, relays, and that's really all we're gonna need of a wiring harness for the bike, uh, except for the controls for the, uh, you know, the control unit and then uh, the batteries and everything will be contained within their own harness. So, so that way it's just the, the swap is, everything its own its own gauges the batteries the electronics the drive motor and then i'll make a simple harness for the bike so that way the factory harness could be just removed and put aside you certainly could use your factory wiring harness but i didn't have it with this bike and why get one just to dissect it to use a few pieces of it um so that's it we're gonna get working on shaping up the tank and um after i do the lighting wait for the turn signals to come in also we have LED uh, turn signals uh, to put into the front. Um, once they're all done, that should be pretty simple. I'm thinking about putting a tablet in the front that we can Bluetooth, um, probably monitor the batteries. If not, it'll be uh, just another cool display. You can use uh, digital gauges along with the battery sensors, everything that are contained in these gauges here. So that's pretty much it till next time then. Um, stay tuned, keep watching. Hope you're enjoying this. If you have any comments, any uh, suggestions, I'm absolutely open for anybody's ideals. This is uh, something new I'm doing, trying to be creative and working it as I go. And we normally do a lot of the looks and the show stuff, so really not getting into any of that at this point on the bike. We're really strictly going to make it a basic bike that is uh, electronic. You know, we can certainly, everybody knows all the craziness of stuff we can do with aftermarket paint, components and everything else on there, but we're gonna streamline this bike uh, from the get-go. A lot of good aftermarket components from Voodoo. Um, besides that, we're gonna do one of our custom light up windscreens um, for quick advertising. Cause pretty much I got about another three weeks before the auto show. So uh, we're limited to what we can do along with several other bikes we still have gotta complete. So this is just one of the projects uh, that I'm working on. Um, and we're gonna make some side bearings for the other EV uh, Kawasaki 250 that needs a little, love to make it a little bit more cosmetic um, that we're gonna work on as well. So. Keep watching, check us out, we'll see you next time.